We are all about valves now at the PPMA show, and I'm delighted to be joined by Dave Mills from Gimu. Dave, how are you doing? Fantastic, thank you. Good, right. I'm not going to lie, valves are not necessarily my area of expertise, but they are yours. So can you tell me a bit about Gimu, first of all, and then uh, chat us about what you're showing off here on your stand today? OK, uh, we're a German company, uh, started in 1964. Uh, we started with a plastic solenoid valve, uh, and we've developed now so the pharmaceutical aspects, uh, looking at what you've got today, is the diaphragm valves, the glow valves at the back, angle seat valves, uh, and these. What we're, what we're showing is predominantly uh, our dosing sampling, uh, our tank bottoms, uh, and the switch boxes and controls that are, that are within. And is it primarily uh, pharmaceutical where your main industry, where your main clients are? Well, we would say that uh, our main core is pharmaceutical. However, we are in water industry, we're in the gas, uh, we're in chemical, uh, and we're also uh, within the plastics, uh, high purity divisions. So we actually cover a, a whole lot of bases. Uh, the food industry is interesting in that we, we, we're noticing they're moving from hyg hygienic more towards a septic type of valves, which we're offering on show today. Yeah, good stuff. Well, I tell you what, let's take a closer look at some of this, because you've got... You've got some flashing lights and you've got some funny noises coming from these. So let's just take a quick look at what you've got going on here. OK, so what you're seeing is you're seeing valves opening and closing. Uh, the great advantage of these is I think most of you guys will be able to guess that this is either open or closed. Yeah. Even better advantage is if that's 40 foot up in the air, I still think you'll know whether it's open or closed. So okay. it's great for the, the local engineer who's on site and he's got a problem. Um, he can go straight to the valve that has a problem because it'll flash a different code. So these lights aren't just for the purposes of the demonstration, this is kind of as, as would be on the shop floor? This is not gimmicky uh, and as well as having a uh, local indication you'll also have feedback back to, uh, back to a DCS or a PLC. Oh excellent, okay very very good. Now over here, follow us over here, we've actually got some, uh, some units that you've got cross sections of, you've got some kind of high tech plastic valves as well so just, just channel us through this little it looks beautiful by the way, it's uh, bringing valves to life in a way that I've never seen them brought to life before <laughs> yeah, over here Excellent, so, so we have a glow valve uh, and as you can see this is a bellow seal type glow valve uh, by opening and closing you can see it seal, seal against the product uh, this is actually FDA approved because of the bellow seals the old way of globe valves is you would not have these type of bellow seals inside. You'd have what's called chevron packing, uh, which is PTFE and EPADM sealing. And unfortunately, that's not the FDA approved. So we've, we've managed to uh, get this FDA approved. Um, temperatures up to up to around 180 degrees. Uh, okay. So ideal for, for steaming applications. Now, talk to me, just uh, you mentioning FDA approval there as being important. Why is uh, one of your products being FDA approved so important for your customers? Well, FDA approval is a uh, food drugs uh, agency. Um, to sell products into the US, uh, to sell products overseas, you, you need to meet this requirement. Uh, our, our products meet this, predominantly the, the diaphragm valve with its, with its specialist type of sealing uh, is, is an FDA approved product. And getting that FDA approval is no small hurdle either, is it? That, that is quite a challenge in some cases. No, absolutely. Uh, but within our, within our experience of, uh, of the technology that we've had, uh, we've been doing this for since 1964, so over 50 years of uh, experience. Uh, we have a special sealing system that nobody else has, uh, which also meets uh, EHEDG, which is European Hygiene Equipment Directive Group. Uh, not many other valve companies have that uh, on, under their belt. Terrific. And finally, you've got some plastic valves as well. We've got some high, high metallic stuff over here. But talk to me about what these plastic looking... Sorry, I've, I've Sounds like plastic is derogatory, but in this case, it's actually quite a good thing, right? Fantastic. We're the only people in the world that do this in plastic. Okay. Um, you can see the blocks that have uh, started in metal, and uh, a number of our competitors have been doing this for a, a good many years, like ourselves. Um, with our specialist plant in Switzerland, uh, we've been able to use the experience of metal blocks uh, and convert and use plastic blocks. Uh, we, we build these into skid manufacturers, into water manufacturers, uh, and... Uh, also into some pharmaceutical plants that don't have a requirement for stainless steel and they want to they want a, a, a product that's a similar standard but maybe a little bit lower in price okay so the, so it's the price which is the main differentiator in terms of value to the customer not always that rider it's again it's it's the product uh, hold up volume uh, at the end of the day if you can uh, get as much out of that product hold up volume as you can you're making more money now this may be plastic. There's still 
a good deal of weight in here. There's this really kind of dense stuff going on there. So it's, uh, I, I guess, still as uh, as effective. You're not losing any efficiency, I guess, when you're using a, a plastic product. Well, the great things with plastic products, if, if you take this uh, technology uh, and if you compare it to the way people used to do it, what you would have is you would have lots of valves, lots of pipes, yeah. so you've got more chance of leaks. Uh, you, you would have different type of valves. In this instance, yes, a little bit heavier, but we're also able to manufacture these and we're taking a lot more of the plastic away, so we are making them lighter um, for the for future markets. It's, yeah. it's, just a, it's just a natural progression. Sure. Listen, uh, Dave, thank you so much for showing us around what you're doing here at Gimu. A fantastic looking stand, and also you've got footballs and sweets on the stand too which I'll certainly be walking away with the suite. I don't know about the football, I haven't got time for that today. But brilliant stuff. Um, how's the PPMA show finally been for you so far? It's been excellent so far. It's been a really good day. I'm hoping today is going to be uh, twice as busy. That'll be great. Uh, and tomorrow, the same. But it's been great so far. It's been a good experience. Terrific. Well, again, thank you very much, Dave Mills from Gimu. Have a great time here. Brilliant. Cheers.